Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. Thank you for stopping by. I have a very interesting deck for you today. This deck is the Lifruma deck and it is made by Russell Penn. Now, the funny thing is, it, it <laughs> there's nothing on it that I can tell that there's a name to it. I had to go look back. I, I've been following Russell on YouTube for quite a while. Um, his YouTube page is uh, rustling around and he goes like, He's been to Mexico, Portugal, different places. And I just looked it up because there was no info. Um, he ordered a deck to be sent to Portugal, I don't know, a couple of years ago. Never happened. This is based on a runic system. There are 78 cards. He used a couple different ones. He's the uh, author and he um, there's poetry involved in this. But there's also other people there. Uh, Aiden Sherry is the um, artist. It, there's also channeled, um, I'm assuming, words, maybe the artwork, I don't know, by Reem Ahmed and Rob Keeler, and a co-edit by Kathy. I don't know who Kathy is. <laughs> um, you can go right on the page. It's very straightforward. He's actually got free downloads. You can actually, before the deck was out, you were able to download it. Very simple. Um cards that you could make yourself it's probably still there he seems like a very easygoing outgoing person he just wants to create a deck that people would um work with it's it's the um, uh runic healing deck is it a runic healing deck hmm it is a healing deck lifruma healing deck i think that's what it is lifruma he runic healing deck i don't have a book and i can't go back in because i'm using my phone so if I said that wrong, I didn't mean to. It came in this cute little bar, uh, bag. It was funny because when I got it in, I'm like, what did I order now? <laughs> that happens a lot. So it's 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 quite the deck. I mean, you got a lot of cards here. And it's in um, plastic to keep it. Now, in this case, you kind of have to use it so it doesn't bounce around because it came just in this. There was nothing else. There's no book because it doesn't need a book. Um, so these cards, I'm not going to read every single one I don't think you know what i also am probably gonna need my glasses so that's the back i mean when he originally was doing the cards he just had i almost like index cards and he was reading from them and i i always said i can't wait to see for you to have your deck out so i can um premiere it or preview it on my or view it on my uh channel review it whatever look how pretty that is and that's all the different um guess you can get a lot of the runes from all that i'm assuming because that's what it reminds me of it also has it all has a tree of life um vibe i really like this little bag it's feels like um it's softer but it feels like one of those burlap bags but it's not it just looks like it all right so it goes from zero to oh actually there is some oh okay never mind i said it there wasn't it but um it goes from zero to 70 77 which the zero of course makes it 78 cards because i'm like where's 78 hello so um i'll just read this real quick this project to create an oracle deck from runic sources has been an incredible journey through lost worlds and became a deeply healing experience for all involved in the coll collaborative process at first we thought we needed a deck that would offer card readers new narratives by opening fresh stories and energies that might be explored. However, as the deck grew, so did its own distinct consciousness. Each rune and their burgeoning cards began to quickly ins ins incite their own desired messages to heal through action. We've tried to honor do those expressions in creating this deck. Each card is deeply singular, yet all the cards merge with each other when drawn together in readings. <clears throat> we trust you will connect with the magic Hidden inside each card and their symbols, you are all part of the continuing creation of this Oracle deck. Thank you, everyone, for being involved in this coll collective project. You are the magic. The first edition is printed, packaged, and distributed in the USA and is currently administered wholly and freely by those in our collective Oracle. Oh, so here is their pages and rustling around. Uh, that's the one I follow. I, I don't know these other ones. Uh, I'm going to look them up. Um, so it's an Anglo-Saxon rune deck, Healing Oracle. I know he uses a couple of different, because um, I know runes, I think it's 22, right? So 
I don't, it's, it's all on the website. If you want to look at the reason why he did what he did. Um, it's just the, it really intrigued me when he was using them. I was like, and then when he got the, the preview of the deck, I just thought it was just really pretty. I like the artwork and I just think it's just interesting and fun. So uh, now I cannot say these words, but there is each card has a keyword. So this one is seed and gignung gag up um there is on the web page a pronunciation thing as well so so each has uh, well i thought each had a maybe oh yeah there is if you just got to look for it see this one has wealth lights livestock all right so i'm gonna read this real quick i'm not gonna do it every single one because 78 cards is just too many okay so before all the veiled void strains its velvet fanfare of silence breathing shimmering Glimmering dust emerges, swarming and forming, fated to become something new. Life must be the physical screams to exist, potential without form from all and everything. Within all, potential without from within all and everything. And the cards are, they're, they're not really shiny, shiny, but they're not matte. They're, they're nice. I think they're going to shuffle really well. They're, they're a little, it's not buttery soft. It's just almost like a matte photo. It's nice. All right. So Theo, um, Wealth and Lysog. Look how beautiful the artwork is, though. It really is pretty. Uh, Ur, Wild Ox, Untamable. So it's like, Every, you don't need a book because everything is here. I can't wait to use this deck. This is going to be a deck I think I'm going to really enjoy using. Um, this is Thorn Portal Giant. It does. <laughs> that looks like a word I probably shouldn't say on uh, YouTube. <laughs> um, but look how look how beautiful these cards are. And everyone, I mean, it's fun that they all have. They're all like all over the place. Like the numbers here, the numbers here. Um, it's different. I. It's kind of like Russell where he goes all over the place and he's rustling around. It's kind of, he's kind of all over the place. And when you listen to him, you really, really got to pay attention because some of the stuff I'm just like, he's a little bit for me, a little bit too esoteric. Um, but I love his vibe. He just seems like such a nice, sweet person. I really do like him a lot. So, uh, Oz, God, mouth. And this one sounds found deep in every cell call out, forcing the source of God's of the God voice of the earth's breath to burst and release each atom, an, an unattached, an unhatched cosmic egg of unmatched mystical potential to rise up is to speak up, to give strong song to ancestral codes of healing nestled in all our vessels of the world. So Galdar, your best Galdar. I don't know what that, I don't, I'm assuming that's a word, um, a runic word your best life, reach forward and commune. I love it. Rad. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I'm going to say rad. I love the artwork and you can stop and you can read it yourself. You can pause it because I'm not going to go through all of them. They're just really beautiful. I, I support him because I, I I I don't know exactly if he does anything for work or if he just kind of goes around and like does little things here and there. But I just he was given it for free. I mean, come on, if you're gonna buy a um a specialty deck, this was so unique that it's just gonna be a fun one to have, and I really do like him. Hi Hi Gold. So this is Hail. What? Oh, you know what? I should have probably been reading those, huh? Bliss, comfort, win. Uh, what's this one? Gift, generosity. Okay, I'm going to start reading them from now on. Uh, I'll just do that instead of the trying to do the word because shadows and nutrients. And this one, can you see the skull in there? Interesting. The war rune, the fear rune, the battle hymn, the grim song sung too long, the war of one to, to be one alone in our shadows. We hold the bloodied ravens fast. Whisper fresh melody in the silence. Murder our crows and grow stronger. Poins golden key of light. Life. Shadows and energy. Interesting. Ice gripped. I, I love the... The artwork is just really pretty. Really pretty. I know it's, it looks like collage type work. But I love the... 
it just blends beautifully. They did a very nice job. Year Harvest. You Sacral. Oh, I love this one. Um, Pear Tree Cosmic Surge. Elks Protection. Sun Life Force. Tear Smelt. And you know, Tear is the, uh, a god in the Norse tradition. Proto God, so old that time has smelted all emotions within. War and fury have been hammered, reformed, made over, made over, recreated, refashioned through the compassion to understand all shadows. All destinies are part of the whole under the tutelage of tear. All blows, all hammer clings, and all strikes glow from the flow of love's breath. He offers to all life. He offers to all life. Wisdom is beauty and compassion. Asia. I know Tyr is like a very, um, he's a very loyal, a loyal God, you know, in the, in the tr Norse tradition, it, from what I understand. And I love this deck. I love this deck. I do. Um, begin poplar tree. Like I said, I'm not going to try to say the words unless I really know them because eh, I'm assuming that's eh. <laughs> or eh, maybe horse move. Man, myself, humankind. I wonder if that's where we get man from. I think we get a lot of our, believe it or not, our even Christian traditions from some of uh, the, the Norse stuff. Some stuff just to me rings like it comes from there. Lagu, Lagoon, Cosmic Ocean. Ing, Ignite, Water, Meadow. I love it. This is one I'm definitely gonna, I say that with some and then I don't wind up using them. Either they don't work out or I don't, just don't pick them up. Uh, this I'm going to put right on my desk. I'm probably going to use it daily. Uh, Legacy, original, birthright. Uh, day, purged. Ooh, I love the colors here. Oak, support. And of course you can see the uh, runes. Which one? It's just very well done. They pretty much covered the whole thing that if I wanted to get a deck it's it's perfect it's got every it's got the description it has the 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 rune it's numbered it ha it has no borders which I prefer that especially with something like this you need to see it it has the, um, a description as well as you know the write-up and it's got the, the name it's perfect you know what the only thing they could have done which probably would have been a good idea maybe i'll do it in a second is to do like a pronunciation so you're able to do it because <laughs> those words they're tough hod hooded unseeing uh e eeyore world serpent destiny i don't see a serpent there do i I'm trying to see um no i don't see it it might be there but i as of right now i can't see it it's just muddled to me uh earth's gap return I like the feel of these cards. I, just, I want to. It almost feels like an old photo, like, but not the shiny ones. Oh, it's hard to explain. Um, fire, ether, life. Love it. Beautiful. Uh, Treed soul prints. To toward towardness, future briar schooled. I love these colors. So pretty. Ooh, I like this one too. Gar, Spear, Throth. I hope you guys aren't here, hearing my stomach. <laughs> All of a sudden I'm stabbing. What's going on here? Um, so this looks like a different room. I, I don't I don't remember seeing this room, but anyway, it doesn't matter because it's based on different it's I know it's based on the original 22, but I mean clearly there's more. So if if you really want to know, just go into the um into the page. I'm going to link it below and you can get an idea. It's not even a long read at all. I just, I read some of it, but I was just skimming through it real quick. Uh, mortar anchored being unbound. This one's wet, wet horn dichotomies of des densely tangled emotions with the remedy implied in the diagnosis. The moon calls to hear a visceral communal howling of human Wolves shouting at the elements. Human wolves. That's cool. The cure for pain is in the pain. Drain it out with an angry ancestral shout. 
This is the sound of the unbinding. Return the chaos to the drained refrain of order. What's found after the, the dance of disentanglement, your cure. Now, you can use that whole thing for reading. You can use just one thing that pops out. You can use just your cure. It's just the, the keyword. I love these cards. So well done. Russell, I don't know if you will, will watch this video, but if you do, I do follow you and I do watch your videos. Not all the time um, because it depends what's going on in my life, but I do watch you. And this deck is amazing. I love it. Uh, Helm of Awe. Sun's Teed. Um, it's, it's Helm of Awe, but it means... Wheel of Shield. Okay, Helm of All, Wheel of Shield, Solstice, Rarefeld, rare, Rarefied? Rarefied, maybe. Yeah, Rarefied. Uh, Night, Turn Dark, Inner Troll. Oh my God. And that almost looks like a little troll there. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Darkness, like a mood, falls suffocating as it engulfs all emotions, rupturing the splendor, shading all with the heavy hues of futility. A sudden compression that should be a lesson in depression, but isn't. It loathes and demeans our dreams, not just yours, but others of but those of others. Our inner troll, our inner trolls pose challenges, blocking our bridges out of the dull out of the doldrums. Evoke the the resolve from the lands of the midnight sun, light <clears throat> will return and dissolve darkness. Now, this one, I'm having a teeny bit of time heat reading because it, it's just the, the lettering's a, a little bit um, faded. And the thing is, if you'll notice some of these cards, some of the some of the letters are the same color, and sometimes and they're not like this one. You got red, and then you got the, the darker color. So it's kind of interesting how it's done. I really like that. That's pretty cool. Moon, recognize. Uh, weirdness, the all rune. Oh, so this is that, what that is. It's the all rune. Okay, let's read, let's read this one. Mystical all rune, binding all tunes, singing all songs, writing all wrongs. Weird, Widheimer, the dark, deep-rooted realm of the Norns, <clears throat> where they bind... And weave all around this. The vibration underscoring everything weird is here. Weird is love. Endless, seamless, slow-flowing possibilities rooted in nutritious love. Supporting all, both seen and unseen. Unpick the threads where you cannot sense the loving stitches. What weird magic will you weave now? That should be, there should be a, um, I think a, question mark there but it doesn't doesn't matter you understand it this is so cool so that's the the this thing here which is in the back is the all all room interesting i love it love it uh needle mend candle i can say candle <laughs> candle and day star on while willful resistance uh, Condell, Cosmic Doubt, Ulcer, uh, New Bud, uh, it might be Niwi, Niwi, Walsh, Sap, Impassioned. I actually love these colors. I love that. Really pretty. Leaf, Leaf Unfurl. Leaf Cad, leaf shade cradled so this this here reminds me more of um oh what is that writing oh the celtic writing oh what's it called now oh my god i can't remember oh my god i looked into it at one point but it just looked complicated to me i can't remember what it is but some of you will know or somebody might know it'll come to me at some point Fruit, be fruit bearing offerings, apple bear, uh, ripen, mature, ripian, swelledness, fast whirlpool, erdor, erdor, um, butcher's broom scrub. 
See, and even if you don't know what that means, it's got all this other stuff. Oh, so well done. I, this looks like an H to me, or is it an um, Saturn? Is it Saturn that kind of looks like an H to me? I think so. Uh, Hortisi, heartache, throb. Sobbing, throbbing, dark sparks grab hold of the heart, crushing the soul's freedom. Dread threads reach out with serpentine hooks, fang, hooked fangs that sink and pierce the deep. Why the cries, the choking soul? Why cries the choking soul? But the deep dark hole opens wider and anger tangles itself around cuffing harsh lines into the flesh, victimizing us. It clings and wrings out each drop of love from every thought. That is powerful. Powerful. Waterfall. Uh, mystical healing. Burst out free. Weather Vein. Weathercock. Fluctuate. Now, some of these words are a little bit different to me. He's from... England, so I'm wondering uh, if some of they're more popular in England that I mean, weathercock. I'm not even sure what that is. Is that one of those? I know there's weather veins. Maybe that, that's what they call a weather vein is a weathercock. I don't know. But it's interesting. I like that kind of thing. Gutting resolve. I love the colors. I, and I like, like I said, I like that they thought of everything. Like they, they changed the colors of the lettering. I, for their first um, Oracle deck, maybe they're even their only, it's literally almost perfect. It's it's almost perfect. Now, here's the Lithruma, Elven Light um, benef Benefic. The Elven Ring is the singing of love. This, sounds, this sound resounds from high above. Everything in, and hums below a low bass. A slow ground bass, bass. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's try that one again. The Elven Ring is the singing of love. This sound resounds from high above. Everything in hums below a long, slow ground bass flow. Core of frequency vibration holding form, animating all atoms throughout time and beyond. Bask in the bliss, but know this. You are a voice in that Elven light. You are here alive and there holding tones for all and everything we are all one in lifruma love it love it yarn inter entwined i love why it looks like a little there's a bird there and he's like holding a piece of yarn i love yarn because you know i crochet <laughs> um thy earthly power Interesting. Such a pretty card. Health restore. And this, I think this is hailed, but I'm probably saying it wrong. Hailed health. Yeah, maybe. Um, sten stenkness. Scent tested. Maybe stenchness. <laughs> I see how the, they're all different. I, I like that there's this extra stuff. It's just really cool. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure where he, he got all these, but um, embraced, mirrored, but you can read up on it. There's, there's a method to the madness. Watcher, animal, totem, witchcraft, sorcery, uh, elder, and wic wicca craft. So witchcraft. Twelfth, static needs. That looks like a bug. <laughs> Squashed bug to me. Flow, first blood, a rite of passage into fertility, fluidity, and creative potential, shifting any divine moment, synchronizing blood to the cosmic cycle, stepping towards the moon magic of life, womb flow from the sacred sacral seat, the bloodlines through time that give form to life, to be in tune and lose count of the structures that hinder mystical progress, to accept and not question, to release resistance and be, and be 13 moons frequency. Cool. So cool. Um, owl senses. Waken. Uh, waken. Originate. So waken like wake up maybe. Present. Gateway. Verdaldi. I don't know what that, that last word but. Love it. 
blood scented nave blood scented i know a nave there's a naves in church so um i don't know if that's what that's talking about uh emotional bleed so this is about blood this is emotional bleed um the grim harvest seeking balance profound heart wound bleeding grief pouring emotion soaring tears raining down ceaseless raining down ceaselessly pain pain after pain after pain and you can't explain it away feel it bleed it pour it all out until you and it are almost broken from exhaustion now see how clearing pain makes space for new treasures deeper in your heart i just it's I love it. It's just so, um, it's profound and deep, even though it's just small, it's just small little snippets. It definitely reaches a much deeper level. Explore, alchemize. Um, God, get the wrong gathering channel. Hang true review. Hangle true. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Um, hell returning light. Okay. So hell is like a Norse goddess. Let's see. Beautiful, bright child light, bright blighted by mighty Odin in fear of his fate. Hell refused Odin's request to return Baldur's light. Aware that death is simply a parallel dimension to life. Everything dies. Welcome her corporeal truth. Raise hell to embrace life and return to the world your fullest light hell's disruption opens portals of divine reconstruction burn like hell brightly interesting i love that and bill frost journey home <clears throat> living light paths theories of strings and strands fragile frayed threads warp and welt all left empty through knowing love is all peaceful vibrations bridging words and all journeys leading to the same destinations. All our leaves lifted by the solar wind, sailing home, charted by stars, to birth once more with the sacred tree, Yggdrasil, a sacred Yggdrasil tree. Welcome home. And if you see, look, can you see it's all like rainbow colors? Like, it's hard I'm trying to get it to focus, but you know, it may not work too good. It's hard for me to tell. But see all the rainbow colors? That's just really interesting. All right, so this is the Lefruma Healing Oracle by Russell. Um, what did I say his name was? Russell Penn. I know him as Rustling Around, so it's like I didn't even know. I had to go searching for his last name. <laughs> so Russell Penn, you can find him. Like you got all these uh, things here. I might. I don't know if, how to link. I may have to mess around with my um, my. Uh, uh, editing a little bit for this or i might just link with from deck and you can guys you guys can go from there you can you can see it it's there easy to find it's also i think on that page all right you guys thank you so much i really russell i love your deck i like you too you're awesome i should say i love you you know in in a you know brotherly sisterly way <laughs> you're awesome i love your deck thank you so much for creating this it's honestly it's probably one of the most perfect decks I've ever seen as far as the execution, if not the most perfect deck. And I'm honestly, at this point, it really is the most perfect deck I've, I've uh, seen as far as the way it's done. Other than maybe just have a little, if you're going to do this again, just have a little like pronunciation thing there would be great because it is kind of hard. These words are hard. Other than that, it's perfection. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Blessings and thank you.